the universe slash God can never give you what you want if you don't give it to yourself first. And the way you give it to yourself first is by allowing yourself step aside and allow yourself to have it. You deserve the best of the best. People always ridicule you or say that like whatever you're trying to achieve is ridiculous. They put their limitations on you. What someone says about you says more about them than it says about you. People are constantly projecting, constantly. People usually put their limitations on you, but then when you're successful, when you've actually achieved the things which you are gonna achieve because you can create anything and manifest anything that you want, who's gonna call you? They're gonna call you. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share how you can stop getting in your own way, step aside to let your manifestations happen because a lot of the times, believe it or not, the problem, the invisible force that is holding you back from your manifestations, I hate to say it, but it is you. There is no dark force holding you back. Circumstances aren't against you. I mean, they can be against you, but a lot of the times we, our manifestations don't come through because we don't allow them to come through. So I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks today on how you can have your manifestations and happen a lot faster by eliminating these invisible blocks. And you guys know I like to talk a lot about the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind rules literally 95% of our reality. So trying to pretend it's not gonna affect us is just, it's not true because it does. So I'm gonna share with you some things and tips and tricks that you can do to have your manifestation come to you faster and in a more effortless way. But first of all, welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. Let me know where you're watching from because I'd love to know. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you can know so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, I started this thing, I talked about it on Instagram. I would love for you guys to share with me your manifestation stories, whether it is from my coaching programs, my Abundance Queen Academy, Limitless, or for me just watching the videos using the law of assumption. Share your stories down below because I love reading them. A lot of you have been so inspiring in the comment section and so loving. So I definitely encourage you to take a look at that as well while I'm sharing this video with you guys. Also, I'm opening a few coaching spots. I will link those down below. These are one-on-one -on -one coaching spots, so availability is very limited. So a lot of the times when we manifest and things don't happen the way we want them to, it's because sometimes we're getting in our own way. And sometimes we don't even realize that we're getting in our own way and that's why I wanted to make this video. In my Limitless community, we actually have a prayer before every um, monthly call. We have a prayer where we say, um, show me my blind spots, God, or whatever you wanna to pray to. Show me my blind spots. Reveal to me the things that I cannot see about myself because sometimes those are the exact things that are actually holding us back. The first thing I wanted to share with you is be mindful about who you hang around with. I know we've heard this so many times, but it is so true. You become the five people that you hang around most with, whether that's in your family, whether that is friends, just watch and observe their beliefs and their mindsets and see how quickly they can become your mindsets and your habits and how they can shape you. So be really, really, really aware of that. I can't stress that enough. Sometimes I have been around people that weren't aligned for me or that were toxic for me, but I didn't realize it in the moment because it was very like, the, sometimes manipulation, the enemy can sometimes be very, very subtle. Um, you know, manipulation isn't always, or like hate or abuse isn't always the obvious abuse. The abuse that is most um, treacherous, I would like to say, is 
abuse that kind of that you don't even realize sometimes people can manipulate you and you don't even realize that you're getting manipulated or influenced by certain people's belief systems you have to allow yourself to have your manifestation and of course you know there's like levels to manifestation and I like to say it's all possible right whether you're trying to manifest a billion dollars or a parking spot you can have it all like from the little things to the big things and everything in between also I wanted to take a second to interrupt my own video and sponsor my own video with my limitless membership this is my community our manifestation school everything is energy and when we come together in a community for the same purpose the energy is just like multiplied 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 one of my members has been able to buy her own studio and she thought it was gonna happen like in the year or so and it literally happened i think i have to double check this but i think it happened in like three months literally three months thought that it would take so much time and it literally manifested faster that's because the energy is potent sometimes people invest in programs and even bef like when they make the decision to invest the money shows up like seconds after it's actually where we come together in a community to manifest our highest desires every um month there's a new case coming out we've had self-image we've had a quantum manifestation um we've had destiny versus manifesting we've had detoxing your body for faster manifestation we've just had so many good things in there there's meditations in there there's journal prompts in there so much good stuff if you feel called you can literally join anytime and leave anytime you want but sometimes we have to take these leaps of faith like what are you going to do do you want to stay stuck in the same place where you've always been and repeat the same patterns and habits or do you actually want to like change your life and shift your reality and create a whole new paradigm for yourself um and create a new life for yourself and a new reality so links to that is down below and let's continue with the video our society is so like ingrained with certain belief systems it really depends on how you were brought up what you heard in your childhood um, those things really really shape you and an example that i can give you was a few years back when i was actually when i was regularly attending church which i now have left and ever since i am thriving and i'm not saying that that's like that for every church i think it also depends on the country that you're in you know i personally love god i let everybody have their own belief systems i don't try to push my belief systems on people i've had my personal experiences with the holy spirit that's how i became a believer i've had such a powerful experience where i was like i can't deny his existence not that i was denying his existence but it was like this is so powerful this energy this presence knowing that jesus is here with me was just the most amazing thing i've ever experienced in my life and the peace that i have from him knowing that i'm supported um, by god is just amazing so anyway i went to the church they see me i do not fit in there okay i the way i look i did just not fit into that community slowly and slowly over time people and i was at a very very vulnerable state in my life i had gone through tremendous loss and i was grieving and so i was in a very vulnerable place in my life like now today i would go in there and people would tell me things i'm like Psh, who are you like who are you to tell me these things like i'm sorry but no one asked your opinion I didn't ask your opinion so stop like stop trying to push your limitations on me and i'm gonna sh like stick with me here because you're gonna know how that ties into your manifestations okay so i had successful career youtube career living like basically having manifested everything i've ever wanted in my life and it's an ongoing process there's always more there's always better it gets bigger and bigger and bigger better and better and better but i arrived there and i could tell that i was disrupting people just by the way that i looked and i always tried to dress you know in a subtle way 
but also I have my own style. Like I would have had to buy new clothes to even fit in that community, right? People came up to me saying like, oh, when I first saw you, God told me, don't look at her looks, look at her heart. And I was like, okay, I don't really know how to take this. And this is like the subtle, and I know these people probably don't, didn't mean it well because they have their own views, but it was like, I constantly felt like something was wrong with me. Or they would say like, oh, God's gonna work on you. And it was like, why are you even saying that? Like, I would never give myself permission to tell a person, God's gonna work on you. That's such a weird thing to say, you know? And it like implied that they were thinking in their mind that I'm not there yet. People came up to me in that church telling me I had to give up my house, I had to give up my career, and because all of that, like God didn't want me to be rich and famous, which I'm not, I don't consider myself rich and famous, but you know what I mean? Like to them, I kind of was based on their reality and their like paradigms that they were in because a lot of them were stuck in like poverty consciousness and like paradigms like you're not supposed to make money, money is bad, money is the root of all evil. That's not true. The way I see it with money, for example, is money is the root of all evil if you love money. And if you look at wealthy people, they don't love money. You love money when you're attached to it and you try to hold on to it. Wealthy people usually are very generous and they don't like, they just spend and they don't hold on to it. When it says like the love of money is the root of all evil, when you're poor, sometimes you do crazy things just to have money, just to survive, just to be able to feed your children, just to be able to have a roof over your head, right? And that's what is meant by that verse, but it's been so misinterpreted because it's like, when you have no money, you have to like hold on to every single penny that you have. And you have to do, you, you do crazy things like people are stealing. Why are they stealing? Because probably they're in survival mode and this is the only way to get what they need to survive. This is how I, this is how I see it. But what I wanted to, um, I went off on a tangent here, but I, what I wanted to mention is that these people were like slowly, every single Sunday, like throwing these remarks on me, right? And using scripture to like justify the fact that I was disrupting them because the way I looked, the way I lived my life, didn't go into their belief system as to who a God-loving person or a Christian should be. And so they tried to mold me into what they thought how I should be like. And I should have never accepted that, but I did at the time because I was vulnerable. Religion has been used a lot to control people. Because I was fed these lies here and there, I noticed after a while of going there, my income started to decrease my views started to decrease. I became less confident. I became a shadow of my former self. I was trying so hard to fit into something that wasn't even meant for me, that wasn't even right. And that's something that I had to learn in time. But this was an example that I wanted to give you guys where who the F, like now every time someone tries to tell me something without me asking their opinion, who the F are you? Like, honestly, who are you to tell me that? Because most of the time, successful people, people that have achieved what you wanna achieve, they will never say that to you. They will lift you up. They will encourage you. It was so manipulative, right? And it's like, this is what is written in the Bible and this is what you should do. No, you can take anything out of context. Like you can literally take anything out of context. And I left there because I was literally told that I could not wear jewelry. That's how bad it got. Like I was told I could not wear jewelry. And I was like, these people are crazy. But is it God's fault that these people are crazy? No. Are there normal God loving people? Yes, a lot of them. But the crazy ones always make more noise than the healthy, like the, the normal, whatever normal is, the normal people. You have to allow yourself, no matter what 
people say, if you have been told your entire life that money is bad, that rich people are evil people, or that they're arrogant, or that they're stealing, or that you having more money means that somebody else is gonna have less, those are all lies. That is all programming in your mind, right? And sometimes very close people to us that we love could be our parents or people that we looked up to as a child say those things to us. And it's not their fault. They have their own belief systems. They come from a different generation, right? But because we want accept acceptance is one of the biggest human needs. We want acceptance, right? Because like your body isn't designed to thrive. It's your reptilian brain is designed to keep you in survival mode. So what do we do to be accepted by the pack? Because we are social as animals. If you look at humans as animals, we need to be accepted by the pack. So to be accepted by the pack in order to fit in, we subconsciously take on these beliefs. Because if we don't, we risk being ostracized from the pack. And that is very dangerous and could lead, if you look at a very primitive way the brain works, that could lead to death, starvation, not be like, cause we used to live in like these communities, like our ancestors and 500 years back, a thousand years back. And that is still lingering in our DNA. That's why I'm saying that this work is so important. Some people would argue that that's a limiting belief. Okay, but have you gotten rid of all of your stuff? Like, do you feel that you can have anything that you want? Have you achieved anything that you want? If you have, great. But if you haven't, then there's probably something holding you back from it, right? And so yes, we can blame the people, but ultimately, do these people have power over you? No, they don't. Because you can think, no matter what anybody tells you, you can think a new thought every second of the day. You can decide right here, right now, like, like no matter how low you feel, no matter how undeserving or unworthy you feel, no matter how stuck you feel, you can decide right now that that ends right now. No one's holding you back from thinking a new thought right now. No one. You are allowed to your own belief systems and your own thoughts. And you can pick new belief systems that are in alignment with what you want to create in your life. And like I always say, try a new belief system on. Like you don't have to adopt a new belief system for the rest of your life. If you don't like it, you can take it back off and you can take back your old beliefs, you know? But you have to allow yourself to have whatever it is that you desire. Whether that is creating a million dollars like that, whether that is being supported by your partner and having the most loving relationship that is so fulfilling, even though you went through abuse, whether that is living in, in luxury, even though you've been raised to believe that luxury is a bad thing. No, it is not. It is not. When good people do well, they, can, they do a lot of good things with their money. So oftentimes the obstacle is you. This is very good news because that means that you are in charge of your life. God wants to give you everything. Just look at nature. Look how freaking abundant nature is. Like I'm looking outside. There's like leaves everywhere. Are you able to count the leaves on a tree? Because I can't. Are you able to count your hairs on your head because I can't. And scripture says that he loves us, God loves us so much, he knows every single hair on our head. God wants you to have abundance. The universe wants you to have, have it all, whatever you want. Some people don't want to have it all and that's completely fine too. You know, if you wanna have a minimalistic lifestyle, that's amazing, do that, do you. But the universe, such God can never give you what you want if you don't give it to yourself first. And the way you give it to yourself first is by allowing yourself step aside and allow yourself to have it. You deserve the best of the best. 
you having more doesn't mean you're a bad person. You having more doesn't take away from someone else. Everybody is on their own journey. Everybody has to figure that out. Everybody is on different levels of spiritual maturity or soul maturity. So allow yourself to have it. And I'm going to give you guys some affirmations. Um, I feel like I was talking for a while here, but I'm going to give you guys some affirmations to help you allow yourself to do this. And before I do, the last thing I want to say is that people always ridicule you or say that like whatever you're trying to achieve is ridiculous. They put their limitations on you. What someone says about you says more about them than it says about you. People are constantly projecting, constantly. People usually put their limitations on you and then, but then when you're successful, when you've actually achieved the things which you are gonna achieve because you can create anything and manifest anything that you want, who's gonna call you? They're gonna call you. The people that have put you down, the people that have doubted you, they're gonna call you for advice. And that's your decision if you want to give it to them or not. But what I want you, what I want to leave you with are these affirmations. Okay, here's an affirmation that I want you to repeat to yourself as much as you can. You don't have to do it all the time. Do what feels good for you. Um, that's what I always like to say. Like, we're all so different. We all function differently. Actually, actually I'm gonna make a video based on um, Manifesting based on your body type because we, we're all different. Some of us are audit auditory, verbal, kinetic, visual, feeling. So based on your type, we manifest differently, right? But the affirmation that I want to give you is by Florence Scovel Shin. I talked about her on my Instagram. If you go on my highlight uh, books, um, I review some books and I love her books. Here's the affirmation. My happiness is God's affair. Therefore, no one can interfere. As I am one with God, I am now one with my heart's desire. I give thanks for my permanent happiness, my permanent health, my permanent wealth, my permanent love. I am harmonious, happy, and divinely magnetic. And now draw to me my ships over a calm sea. God's ideas for me are perfect and permanent. My heart's desire is a perfect idea in divine mind, incorruptible and indestructible, and now comes to pass under grace in a magical way. I am grateful that everything is working out exactly as it should. Those are like many affirmations in one. But just listen to this, come back to this video and listen to this, write it down, put it on your mirror and tell, tell yourself these things daily and you will see how you start to see that you are deserving of everything that you want. I love you guys and I'll talk to you in my next video.